So one more thing about Bali. If you happen to come for Balinese New Year, this year it's the week of March 16th, which is right now. Balinese New Year is very interesting. It's been a once in a lifetime experience. So it is a, a festival or a celebration or a ceremony, whatever you want to call it, that's a few days long. Today being the last day of the year known as Silent Day. The Balinese New Year starts out with a kind of parade festival called Ogo Ogo. And the Ogo Ogo are these big demonic statues that they make with big tits and they parade them all around the city and at every intersection they do this little play or dance and there's locals and tourists all around and they're doing these like monster dances and this big show of like music and culture and it's the most exotic thing I've literally ever seen in my life like if you when you when you picture somewhere exotic like that was the scene like big monsters being danced around and like people doing like this little this whole show is it, it was crazy if you can come during Balinese New Year it's definitely a once in a lifetime experience and so at the end of these uh, Ogo Ogo parades uh, a couple days later what they do is apparently they burn the Ogo Ogo statues in an attempt to eradicate all evil spirits and negative energies for the coming year. So just like Thailand New Year where they have the uh, Songkran Water Festival, it's all about cleansing yourself. Balinese New Year is also about cleansing all the evil spirits out for the new year. But the most interesting thing is the holiday known as Nyepi or Silent Day. It's a day where everyone stays home for meditation and self-reflection. And it's actually today as I'm filming this video, a perfect day just to film this Bali Travel Guide video. It's kind of last minute um, because we learned that you actually can't even leave your hotel. Um, the streets are actually patrolled by a nice gentleman on bicycles and Basically, everyone stays home and um, a lot of families even are silent the entire day um, and or are fasting the entire day. So the idea of the Nyepi holiday is obviously at the end of the year, just kind of reflect on yourself. Uh, this, Balinese was, this Balinese guy was telling me that the whole idea of the day of Nyepi is at the end of the year, just stay at home do no work and it's an entire day just for self-reflection. Just reflect on yourself over the past year, how you've been to yourself, how you've been to your relationships, you know, think about your existence as a human being. These are his words that he was telling me. And just, you know, if your life is getting out of balance, maybe try to bring your life back into a state of more balance. And, um, you know, if you're into yoga and meditation, just some people just like meditate the whole day at home. And um, it's very, so interesting. Um, they even, so during the nighttime, which is about to be nighttime right now, um, they, there are no lights. So one of the crazy things is you can't turn the lights on um, unless you're at like a big hotel resort. Um, there's no lights on in your villa. So the, the host of this Airbnb, um, not Airbnb, but the host of this villa here, he was actually like, all right, tomorrow, there's no lights on, guys. Like, seriously, don't turn the lights on or people will come and make you turn the lights off. This It's like, they're serious about this holiday. Um, so there's no lights. And the most interesting thing, which I was skeptical about, but it's actually true, is they actually turn off cellular data and Wi-Fi. So I, I was getting ready to upload some vlogs today and actually the Wi-Fi is not working in the house the entire day, it hasn't been working. Um, the cell data was working up until about afternoon and then the cell data even turned off. From everyone's SIM card doesn't work. Um, I did try to make a call. It does work from phone calls, which makes sense, you know, in the case of emergency. Um, I can make a phone call but I can't look up anything right now. There's total no internet communication. And um, you're supposed to do no work. So, you know, no disrespect to uh, the people of Bali for kind of working right now, making this video. Um, but I just want to share this experience because literally it's, it's once in a lifetime experience. Like, I've never been on house arrest, but this reminds me of like, 
I, I don't think I've ever stayed in one place the whole day, like since the last time I was like sick in bed, which has happened like twice in my three years of travel, like being being sick in bed. But it's kind of like you're on house arrest, or it's like it's like martial law or something. We, we, um, earlier today, I was actually really curious um, what would happen <laughs> if we take a little walk around the neighborhood, uh, Patty, kind of rice field Patty around here. So me and Aaron went on a walk, just a real slow kind of meditative walk like this, just walking around um, a few blocks around, and um, some nice gentlemen um, came up on bicycles, kind of mountain bikes, and they're like kind of just confused, like. Where you go? Where are you staying? Um, today is ceremony. Um, ceremony tonight, no lights. Um, you should go back. Uh, where do you stay? And we're like, we're staying at Patty View Villa. So like, okay, we'll take you back. So uh, obviously they're probably kind of bored. They have nothing to do. Um, so they uh, just chit-chatted with us um, very quietly on the way back, asked us where we're from, um, you know, where we're going after this, how do you like Bali, all that stuff. Very friendly guys. And they walked us all the way back to our villa for like, probably like a mile out um, so yeah you're not gonna you know get arrested if you go on the streets but um, yeah there's there's gentlemen um, dressed up in the traditional garb um, riding around I can kind of see them out there on the pallies on the patties going down the paths um, riding around on bicycles patrolling so they're, they're very serious about their self-reflection which I have the utmost respect for I think it's one of the coolest New Year's traditions and that I've ever heard of and I'm sure many cultures have very similar New Year's uh, styles all about cleansing and self-reflection and um, I think it's something that we all should do more uh, you know once once a year at least maybe once a month just take a day and just reflect and see where you are you know like like all the entrepreneurs like Tim Ferriss and everything they say you know it's better to work less hours per week with a more smart plan of action and direction than it is to be working 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week, working too hard, but not in the right direction, not in the smartest way possible. So to sum it up, smart work is better than hard work. So that's kind of where my mind takes that whole philosophy is just recorrecting your your trajectory every year or every month or every week even just making sure boom you're going towards your goals you are going towards making yourself the best version of you and trying to increase the net happiness of the world to the highest amount possible which is you know one of the goals of life i mean what is the purpose of life what is the what is the point of doing all this what is the point of doing work every day um, that's a different story for everyone. You know, what is your definition of success? What is your, what is your purpose as a human being? And so that's what the, that's what this day is for, is asking these questions. So I'm just kind of asking myself these questions right now. Um, you know, what, what, what's your ideal life? What, what, what do you, what, what, what's, what's, what's the point? What's the point of all this? What, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want when you die? What do you want to leave behind? What do you want this journey as a psychonaut flying through space on a green and blue marble? Uh, you know, what do you want this experience to be? 